Alexander, it's great to have the chance to meet with you, and I congratulate you on this incredible performance that you gave. I know that it was quite an emotional experience for you to do this. What what about it affected you the most? Um, I think the prob I think probably the thing that was most um, most difficult was to keep adapting to the very fluid situation in Syria at the time we were filming. Um, and as a performer who's doing something other than I'm, I'm not. A, documentarian or a newsreader, but uh, to be affected by what were very uh, emotional events in, in Syria, um, for everybody, not just for people who happen to be Arabic or you know, for people in America watching the news, it's, it's harsh to see a four-year-old kid on a sofa get killed by a sniper's bullet. Uh, and those effect, those things really made, made life, uh, just uh, made the movie exponentially more complicated. Um, for what was a relatively kind of s simple film uh, when we started out, um, and not to fall into the trap of making it into something that it shouldn't be or wasn't, or, or patronizing the audience by making comment on, on what was happening in Syria. You had a lot of tough things to do in this film. Was there anything yeah. in particular that really kind of scared you and thought you thought, I don't know if I can do this? No. Um, there were things that scared the producer. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing you can how fast you can drive a car backwards into another car and actually not get hurt. And, uh, and there were all sorts of things. I think there was a time when um, I was meant to run backwards and a cab was nearly going to hit me. And it just occurred to me that if I put a pad in my back, I could run into the cab and it could hit me and that would be fine. And it was fine. So, uh, no, those things didn't bother me, um, partly because when you're in the swing of it and you want to get the best thing out, the best possible performance out, or the best possible movie that we could possibly get out on a budget, you've got to do the stuff yourself. Yeah. In your career, I'm wondering, I'm curious if there's been somebody along the way who's kind of been your influence or who has impacted you a lot and maybe want, made you want to become an actor. You know, it's a really weird answer, but there is an answer, and it's James Stewart. Really? How bizarre is that? One of the, the fluffiest actors, you know, to ever come out of Hollywood. But I, I've, I always loved him, and uh, growing up, I thought that's the kind of guy I want to be, uh, more than just an actor. And I think people look at screen actors sometimes and think that's the kind of person I want to be. And uh, it wasn't just a wonderful life, it was like things like Little Shop Around the Corner and other movies like that that were just so fantastic. But uh, I think he was probably a big influence. I was going to say it no, dates I, me. <laughs> hey, I love him too. But, uh, <laughs> he said fluffy. He's done some pretty serious. He's roles done some tough stuff. Some great Hitchcock work, and you know. And but yeah, there, there's an you know. If I'm just thinking about that 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 amazing calm elegance that he delivers all his lines with, and I just thought that was so fantastic. And he was a very minimalist actor in a time when that wasn't really very popular. Now that you've finished with this film, which was uh, so uh, intense, uh, is there something coming up that's maybe a little less intense? Well, actually, I just got my film just got cancelled in, in, in next month, which was going to be much less intense because we were filming in Beirut. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently there are 36 kidnappings in Beirut in the last two months, and they decided to finally call it a day, and we're not going to shoot there because it is too dangerous. So we're probably going to film somewhere else. So you're going to take some time off? I'm going to take a little time off. I'm going to develop a TV series, probably with Ruba. And uh, that's something I'm really excited about. Um, and then I'm doing another TV series in, in, in the UK uh, for America. So I, I do TV to lighten up and relax and try and get my teeth into something really kind of gritty for, on film, which is a really nice combination. So it doesn't really matter to you uh, whether it's TV, film, theater, whatever, do as, long, as long as theater it's the Theater I won't part. do. Theater oh, I theater? won't do. No, it bores the hell out of me. It bores me to watch it. It's, horrible. it's, it's terrible to say that, but I can't. I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm back. I'm here watching this. I'm one of the only, the only actor to betray his betray profession by actually not really enjoying theater very much. But film I love and TV, and that can come in any form. Well, I wish you the best with whatever is coming next, and I hope that Inescapable is a big hit for you. Thank you for Thank talking you. to me. Thanks very much.